A lot of people are rightfully very concerned with Zoom security settings, and it would appear that Zoom themselves are listening. There's been several enhancements to Zoom security over the past week, and some more coming. I want to share those with you today on DottoTech. Steve Dotto here, how the heck you doing this fine day? Now we've been posting a lot of videos on using Zoom as so many of us are now working from home and needing to have online meetings. And a lot of you are appreciating the videos and giving us some great support. Thanks so much for all the kind comments and the encouragement. But many of you are also commenting on the fact that there's a lot of security concerns surrounding Zoom. I think a lot of those concerns have been exasperated by the press, but nevertheless, they are concerns and Zoom is addressing those concerns. And I want to go over how Zoom is addressing them today because there's some updates that are happening uh, almost as we speak. Now, I just received an email yesterday, and you would have received it as well if you're a paid Zoom subscriber, to the fact that uh, probably the biggest concern people have, which is that your content, your data, is being shared through servers in different regions in the world, specifically China, where people don't want their video information and their information to possibly be stolen or to be hijacked. Zoom is releasing in the next few days, starting April 18th, they say, they're releasing an option that we will have in our settings, which says this, it'll allow us to customize the data center for our meetings and webinars. So in other words, we can choose which data centers process our meetings and actually how and our meetings are routed through. So you can see here that you can uncheck different regions and they've unchecked for us China as so many people are going to want to do that. But you have to recognize that depending on where your meetings are happening in that particular case, it might degrade your service because each of these servers load balances depending on where the calls are coming from and what's happening with internet traffic. So Zoom has this web of different servers and different data centers that they use to process the information and to make sure that everything runs smoothly. The, if you disable one, which is a lot of people are going to do, it will then, it potentially then, should I say, could degrade your service. Now, you'll never really know. You'll just, it'll just be, you'll have lower quality video or the audio might get that attenuation and that little delay. Those sorts of things might be happening with your, with your meetings. Now, I want to give a big shout out to Zoom at this particular point. With the amount of growth that they've had as so many of us are using Zoom on, uh, have started to use Zoom in just the last month or so, I think that their systems have been incredibly robust and reliable. So I just want to give them a little bit of praise from that perspective as well. Now, there are some other uh, there are some other features that have been added to Zoom, some other security features, and I'll just quickly show them to you here as well now, because this is one here. They've added down here at the bottom a security tab now in the management console. And when you click on that security button, you can do a few things. First of all, really great for locking out Zoom bombers for once you've got everybody in your meeting that you want in your meeting, you can lock the meeting, nobody else is allowed in. It's like locking the door. Now nobody else can get in. That is kind of the ultimate for shutting out potential Zoom bombers. You can also turn off or on the enable the waiting room, which allows people, to, of course, to wait before they come into the meeting. You can set that from here as well. You can manage your participants' uh, ability to screen share, chat, and rename them themselves within this panel as well. So they've added that. They've also modified the display screen in Zoom. So this is the, the, when you're in an active meeting, it no longer displays the meeting ID, which again will discourage the ability of people or, or, or block people from the ability to unwantedly jump into your room. So they're doing a lot around the whole Zoom bombing idea as well. We have lots of other videos on using Zoom, which I encourage you to watch to master and upgrade your Zoom skills. I look forward to your comments and suggestions. I do read each and every comment, even if I don't have time to respond to everyone, but your suggestions for future videos are very valuable. So please keep them coming. Now, if you found this video to be useful, two favors that I have to ask of you. First, if you know somebody that might benefit from knowing more about using Zoom or our channel, I encourage you to share our video with them, let them know about it as well. If you've not yet subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and we will see you next time right here on Dotto Tech. Till then, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle. <laughs>